How's it going? This is the moment everyone has been waiting for. I'm sorry for the delay. It's been a long day. I figured I'd take a little bit of time for myself, go for a walk along the water, enjoy the nice weather. Now let's get into this. On the right, we have Game Boy Color. On the left, we have Game Boy Advance. Yes, both emulators do work from 4.0 software all the way up to 5.0.2. The audio does work. I'm going to turn that up real quickly. It's not 100%. This is Pokemon Gold playing the audio right now. I am able to save. I can continue. All that good stuff. Turn the audio down. Joystick's working. Now when it comes to saving on Game Boy Color, you pause, you go down into save, you save the game, and once you're done saving, give it a second, yes it will overwrite saving, do not turn off the power, Jason save game. Now you want to push the X button, the X button after you've saved eternally in the game will save a file, so when you actually return it will have your save. If you don't push triangle after saving internally in the game, then your file will be missing. Now on top of that, we do have Game Boy Advance. Now Game Boy Advance is a little different. It has save states in a way, I guess I'm gonna say it. So what you have to do, sorry I have my Pro Controller hooked up right now. So what you have to do in this regards is you need to push plus and R to save your state, which I've already done. And to load your save state, you push plus and L. And the game should jump into my save state. Bang, right into the game. So remember, to save your state, it's plus and then the R button. And to load your state, it's plus and then the L button. L for load makes sense. Game seems to run really well. Audio isn't 100% either on this, but that's okay. Still being worked on, give it time. I'm gonna turn that down. Now, we're gonna get into the tutorial real quickly. Also, I wanna show you real quickly um, on the emulators themselves. You don't have to rename the actual games anymore as you can leave them the way they are normally. And what I have noticed is we do actually have a ROM selection. So if you look here, push down you pick your ROM and then you load it obviously and you'll be good to go I'm gonna look for what I was playing where did it go um, where is it leaf green mystery ruby sapphire and eh, leaf green we'll just start it for just to show that it runs it should run it was running earlier for me. Oh. Something happened. Game doesn't want to run. Let's try that real quickly again. Maybe I, leaf green. Oh, maybe I loaded. That was the save file. I think I went to load maybe. Yeah, that was the save file. So that's why. Make sure you don't load the save file. It's not going to load the game. You have to actually load the game file when it comes to going into that menu. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to both the websites in the description. Now, on this first website here, Game Boy Advance Emulator Port, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit. And you're going to want to download this GDK GBA.NRO.zip. You're going to have to extract that file into a location that you want it. And then the file within it is the NRO file. That's the one you need for the actual emulator. And then here is for the actual Game Boy Color. That's the khedgb.nro.zip. You're going to have to extract that. And within it is the NRO file. And that's what you're going to need. Now, on the left here, we're going to go into the root of our micro SD card then we're gonna go to the switch folder now what I did was I created a folder within the switch folder called Game Boy Advance 
And I also created one below it called Game Boy Color. Now within those, I put my actual GDK GBA.NRO. That's for the Game Boy Advance. And for the Game Boy Color, I put the KHEDGB.NRO file extract, extracted from the zip file into that folder there. Now, once you extract both those folders or both those NRO files onto your Nintendo Switch, you will be good to go. Except you need your ROM files. Your ROMs go in ROMs and then you have to create a GBA file or folder I should say and within there you would put your ROMs. Mine's empty here because this is not the SD card I'm using within my Switch. It's for the example. And within here you would put your Game, or, um, game Boy Color games. So GBA for your Game Boy Advance and GBC for your Game Boy Color. So to show exactly where your ROMs go, you go into the root of your SD card to the Switch file folder, sorry, the Switch folder, and then into the ROMs folder. And you'll create a GBA folder and a GBC. Within those, in the GBA, you put your Game Boy Advance. In the GBC, you put your Game Boy Color ROMs. Now you don't have to rename them. You can leave them named as they are before you had to rename them as rom.gbc because the emulator only recognized that one named file. But now the emulator, as I said, has a loader so you don't have to worry about that. So once you do these steps, take your micro SD card, stick it back into your Nintendo Switch, RCM mode, then send your payload. Once you send your payload, you'll be here. In CFW mode, when you load up in CFW, you go into your homebrew, and then you'll be greeted with your Game Boy Advance. I know that's the big one everybody's looking for, GDK, GBA. I'm going to load into there. And the Game Boy Color emulator now has this ROM selection too, so you don't need to rename your ROMs. I've showed you where your ROMs need to go. I've showed you where you need to put your NRO file. I advise to put them in that folder because you can separate some of your NRO files to organize them a little bit better. It makes sense to me to do that. So as you can see here, we have all our games ready to load. Give it a second and it's good to go. So this is pretty great to see. We got Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, everything's up and running. No complaints, not from me anyways. Yes, the audio is not 100%, but what are you gonna do? Everything takes time, good things come in time. As I said, Game Boy Color, we have the emulator here. You can load Pokemon Crystal, and that'll load up. As you can see here, can't remember which version. Sorry, I'm using the Pro Controller. Sapphire. That'd be a new game starting up there. So everything loads. So remember, for Game Boy Advance to load your... Or to save your save states, you have to push plus and then the L button. Plus and L button. And then for loading your save states, you have to push the plus. Or no, sorry. To save your save states... Push the plus button and the R button. And then to load your states, it's the plus and L button. On here, on the Game Boy Color, make sure you save within the game. And then you push the X button to actually save it to a file. And it'll load the next time you go in. Now keep that in mind because if you don't, you'll have problems. If you save internally in a game within the Game Boy Advance, it will freeze and it will crash. If it doesn't crash, crash, it'll just freeze. Remember, your ROMs go into your SD card in the ROMs folder. You go to Switch, and then you go into the ROMs folder. Put your ROMs in GBA and the GBC folders that you have created within. And you put your NRO file. could either go in the Switch folder, or it could go in these folders that you created within the Switch folder. All the best. Like, subscribe. All that good stuff, more videos to come. Leonidas is out. Peace.